Well, the business started out as PCA, Professional yeah. Consulting Associates, LLC, and in 2010, um, we um, started uh, really focusing on who we were mm -hmm. working with, mm -hmm. and it was primarily um, public uh, sector mm -hmm. or, or public service organizations. So um, in 2010, we launched the uh, PSLI, which is the Public Service Leadership Institute, mm -hmm. and uh, we launched it from that. Uh, we launched it because uh, we recognized that the predominance of our clientele were, in fact public uh, service entities. Now, when I say public service entities, I mean public safety was uh, a huge part of who we were working with. And in public safety, that included police and fire and homeland security, sheriff's departments, um, across the board, emergency management and emergency services. So that kind of fell into the public, uh, public safety um, arena. But also, uh, kind of stemming from that, we got a lot of requests to work with the actual governmental entities themselves, uh, for example, uh, in 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 working with the uh, police with a police department, for example, um, the uh, mayor would come and say, "Well, you know, maybe we need some of this for all of our department heads," and so that would expand to actually working with the municipality itself. Um, probably in about uh, early 1990s, we began working with the federal government, uh, Department of Defense. Um, DLA to be specific, the Defense Logistics Agency. And um, so we started to look at our services and that ended up had us working with government services, government service agencies, everything from federal Department of Defense to local and municipal to the cities and, and, and towns and, and townships. So that's where that segment of our PSLI came into play in government services. <laughs> And um, as a result uh, of working uh, with the municipalities, oftentimes the mayor uh, would include uh, school district officials, superintendents, uh, uh, assistant superintendents, and principals in the process. And they began to ask for some professional development uh, areas and, and, and things to be developed for them in professional development. We actually came up with a very good uh, professional development series. Uh, we call it the clinic series, and we actually handled it uh, like and it's structured like a clinic um, for uh, for uh, educational professionals, uh, the teachers. They have circumstances and situations that they deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that they may not have gotten specific training for, and actually sought ideas and sought some some help and some specific models in working with circumstances that they found in their day to day. So we actually set up a clinic series which was very successful and worked very well to give them uh, cues. And um, the last segment uh, in Public Service Leadership Institute happens to be clergy. And, and they always seem to have been involved uh, in, in processes in which we were engaged, either at the municipal level or, or even sometimes at the statewide level. And, and what I mean by involved, they always seem to be kind of a bellwether or, or at least some aspect of, of their finger on the pulse of what was taking place within the communities and, and seem to bring to the table a pretty um, realistic and in many cases controversial sometimes view of what was taking place in the community. And so as we began to work with municipalities and, and the law enforcement organizations uh, within those municipalities and, and governmental bodies, uh, clergy always seemed to be a part of it. Um, one of the things that began to happen uh, as a result of those interactions was the, uh, the need which was brought to our awareness for leadership within clergy as well and, and leadership training within clergy. Uh, that seemed to be a, a, uh, an extremely important issue for many of our clients, so we actually started to develop uh, some subsets of the same leadership training that we were doing that was targeted specifically to, to clergy, which took us really to focus on servant leadership. And, and that was one of the things, that's the, that's the core of that particular aspect. So that's how PSLI uh, actually evolved uh, into uh, what it is now and what it is moving forward.